You have a right. You, the victim, have a right to feel resentful. But forgiveness involves working through, not avoiding that emotional pain. Hence, the Mahatma's statement, the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. Because you have to work through the emotional pain and not avoid it, you have to be strong to forgive. We do our forgiving alone inside our hearts and minds. What happens to the people we forgive depends on them. When we are forgiven, remember that doesn't put us back to the same status we had with the person. That's why forgiving is not the same as trusting the person again. You forgive them, then they have to behave in a way that earns your trust back. Forgiveness is not the same as denial or foolishness. You may forgive someone and yet protect yourself from future harm by that person. So if you're the victim of spousal abuse, you may forgive the abuser. That doesn't mean you run back and put yourself in danger. That is foolishness. That is not forgiveness. You can forgive and keep your distance. And then when it is safe and prudent, you may or may not choose to reconcile with them. If you're in a relationship where there's consistent hurt all the time, then forgiveness doesn't involve forgiveness of a specific hurt. It involves forgiveness for a hurtful relationship and maybe the grounds for your thinking very seriously about whether this is a relationship that should continue.